So you just finished the first draft of your magnum opus, and you're ready to revise it in the second draft and make it shine. But practically, what do you do? Let's talk. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike the Bowtie Writer here. Happy Thursday. Today's conversation is actually prompted by a tweet from the user Quartzen. It's actually a fabulous question. And I know for me, I spent years trying to develop my process by trial and error. And there was a lot of speed bumps and a lot of dead ends along the way. I'm gonna share that process that I've developed with you now that I use for revision, and maybe it'll help you in your process. Let's get to it. Before we go too much further, one thing that I do wanna be explicitly clear about is that everyone has their own process. So do what works for you. So when it comes time for me to start my second draft, I start at the very beginning and I work my way to the end and I have one overarching goal throughout the entire process. I am trying to create a logically consistent story. That means that my prose may not be the prettiest, but it also means that I can give my beta readers something that is internally consistent that they could read from front to back without reality warping all around them. I do this because my first drafts are really rough. All sorts of crazy things can happen in first drafts. Characters can change names. Sup? My name's Ted. Characters might appear or disappear. Sometimes details change. Sometimes details are just wrong. <laughs> While I am working on reading through this to try and fix internal consistency errors, the other thing that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a feel for what the important beats are. For me, a beat is just an important moment in a scene. It, it might, for me, be like a, a witty moment of dialogue, a, a cool payoff, a, a great description, a cool moment of characterization. These are all things that I think are really important and they'll form the foundation of my scene going forward. But typically in the first draft, while they're there, they're kind of a jumbled mess just all out of order. So the second draft, I'm trying to isolate what those key beats are and start trying to put them in some semblance of order. Uh, so much so that for really complicated scenes, I literally make a bulleted list of here are all the major beats and I shuffle them around as I need. Finally, for the second draft, the last thing that I try to do is I try to patch up some of my prose. I I'm not trying to make super flowery language right here. I'm not even really worried about polishing my sentences that much. I just want to fix the basic problems. So some of the things that I'm looking for to try and fix in my first draft are things like really, really bad passive voice. The ship was attacked, the crew was terrified, and the safe was stolen. Sentences that just don't make sense. She ran up the stairs to the lift and the escalator was good. Filling in blanks that I left in my first draft, cause that happens. They walked into the room and saw the name of that guy from earlier. Any kind of awkward phrasing that comes up. He fingered his butt. In my defense on the last one, I was talking about a character and his pistol. That doesn't sound much better. Another thing that I do try to do with prose is I try to chop as much as I can. Hey dear, could you bring me the battle axe? Because I'm trying to give a lot of my pros the chop. Ow! Background info dumps that we don't need. The chop! Extraneous character backstory. The chop! Really, really, really long descriptions of the weather. I do that a lot for some reason. I don't know why. The chop! A highly detailed breakdown of the physics of giant robots. The chop! That side character that never went anywhere and is actually just really, really freaking annoying. Give it the chop. Uh, finally, when it comes to the prose, the other thing that I'm doing is I'm looking for opportunities to show things. If I make an offhand comment that Jack got angry, I double back on that sentence and try to see if there's a way I can show you that emotion coming through instead of just telling it to you. And that's it. That's all I am trying to do when I am revising my first draft. I go one chapter at a time and I am looking for those obvious plot holes. I am chopping extraneous language. I am fixing weird detailed inconsistencies. And I am trying to identify those beats and make sure that I structure the scene around those beats for maximum effect. It's a very methodical, very steady process. 
Anyways, this is the process that's worked for me. What about you? Let me know down below in the comments if something different works for you, if you or if you do something different when you're revising your first drafts, because I love talking about this stuff. If you have any questions, also feel free to hit me up in the comments or feel free to check me out on Twitter. I'm there way too much. I'm at BowtieWriter. Otherwise, if you liked what you saw, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And that's it. That's all I've got for this week. I'm Mike the Bowtie Writer. I will see you all next time. Bye, I'm bye, no, 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 no